Situations in the workplace have the power to shape children's lives. Child labor strips away their chances to learn and develop. Workplace hazards and exploitation hit young workers the hardest. And long working hours separate parents from their children. Business is responsible to prevent and control these impacts. The children's rights and business principles define the workplace responsibilities. Eliminate child labor. Provide decent work for parents and young workers. And ensure child safety in all business activities. These responsibilities go beyond the walls of your own company. They include workplaces in your entire supply chain, which may span the globe. So where in the world are your greatest risks? The Children's Rights and Business Atlas can help you find them. It helps you identify and prioritize opportunities to ensure your workplace impacts on children are positive. Let's see how. The Workplace Index examines evidence in five categories. Let's take a closer look at one of the categories. Say you work for an electronics company that sources products from contract manufacturers in Malaysia. From the Atlas Industries section, you can see that unregulated overtime and long periods of work without rest days leave parents with less time to spend with their children. So, along with your regular compliance program, your company's considering a program to provide childcare options for workers. Is that a wise choice? Look at these five categories. A high score in which one would show you that a childcare program could indeed be valuable. That's right, Decent Work evaluates working conditions for young workers, parents, and caregivers. By supporting Decent Work, companies can give parents more time at home with their children. And providing childcare options like daycare or schooling ensures children receive the care and education they need. Now, what about the other four categories? What did they evaluate? Does the country prevent children under 15 from working? Are children being trafficked for forced labor or sexual exploitation? Are young people doing hazardous work like mining? Do women experience maternity discrimination? By analyzing data for each category, Atlas gives you a broad view of workplace issues that can help you make smart workplace decisions. The Atlas Workplace Index assesses how these issues are managed in different countries. There are three pillars. Legal Framework has the country put in place the necessary laws to protect children? Enforcement. Does the country have labor inspections and social programs to support children? And outcomes. What does the real-world data tell us about the situation for children? For each indicator, a country gets a rating from 0 to 10. The higher the rating, the greater the need for companies to take action. Let's see how you can use these ratings to inform your decisions. Say you're with a global apparel company. In the supply chain, the workforce is largely women. Women having children must not only balance the demands of work and childcare, they can also experience maternity discrimination. They may lose their jobs, be denied maternity leave, or opportunities for advancement. This impacts their ability to provide and care for their children. While your company manages this globally through its compliance program, in some countries it goes further by offering a women's empowerment program. The program provides training and support to help women understand their rights and build skills to advance in the workplace and in their personal lives. Let's say that management is considering expanding your company's program for women's empowerment to your operations in Mexico. Based on the Maternity-Related Discrimination Index, could you recommend offering the program in Mexico? The index shows that maternity-related discrimination is prevalent, making Mexico a good fit for the Women's Empowerment Program. Your company will build these women's skills to advance in their personal lives and the workplace, allowing them to better provide and care for their children. The Atlas also lets you compare situations between different countries. You can select countries most relevant to your business and see the ratings side by side. That way you can prioritize your initiatives and justify your decisions to senior stakeholders within your company. Say you're with a food and beverage company that sources cocoa and other agricultural products from farms in South Africa, Sierra Leone, and Cote d'Ivoire. When you check the industries section of the Atlas, you find that child labor is a high risk in all of these countries. 
in some of them, forced labor is also occurring. Your company has therefore developed an improved monitoring and remediation program, and you're rolling out the new program to the three countries one by one. Based on the atlas, which country might be the best place to start? Sierra Leone has the highest score for negative outcomes in the workplace, and it's the highest score for every category. That could make the country a good place to start. You launch your advanced compliance program to train farmers on your requirements and systems to verify age by obtaining birth certificates. And you include a remediation program to provide schooling to children found to be engaged in child labor and develop income-generating activities for their families. The Children's Rights and Business Atlas can support your company in prioritizing and mitigating children's rights risks in the workplace. By using the Atlas, you can find opportunities to make your impacts on children and families positive.